Good afternoon, evening, morning, whenever you're watching this. I have not been waiting for this day to come, um, but I'm glad it's here, if that makes sense at all. I'm going to begin to start painting. I'm going to do the ceiling first. I figure I'll work my way up and go down. Painting is not one of my strong suits. I do not care for it at all. I mean, so I, I got to paint it. I can't. Just, I don't want to start hanging stuff up and everything and be like, oh, now I got to take it back down again. And that way, if I get the ceiling done, I can move on to the walls and then actually start putting put things where I want to put them. So yeah, I'm going with white ceiling and I'm going to go with the light gray. That's what color I'm doing the walls. And I am going to go with the charcoal gray for the trim. But anyway, I'm going to stop yapping like always. Just call me Yappy. And I will, I will see you guys here. It'll be just a second for you guys, but probably a little while for me. But anyway, see you soon. coat on there um, it actually went on a lot better than what I thought it would like if I'm thinking just one more coat and that will be good on that but it's kind of dark because I had to take the roll of lights and I need to get a brush for around that heater I didn't want to you know I didn't want to obviously get no paint on it but yeah I'm covered in paint like <laughs> I'm covered in paint so I started off with a um, tint and I didn't know, but I had, a, had just bought a few cans, gallons of um, the white pastel base. That's back there where you can see like, where I definitely have to do it again. That's tent base. Like I only had like maybe like a quarter of a uh, gallon left. And then I got that pastel out and I started going with it. And I'm like, wow, this is a whole lot thicker and it's covering a lot more up than what it was because my first start I was like man this is going to take me forever it's definitely going to make it look brighter see what I'm saying so anyway I'll see you guys here back in a in a bit but it'll be just a second for you guys
guys take consideration if you guys ever just decide to tackle a job like this is one if you have the means to do so do all this before you fill your barn up or garage whatever and make it so much quicker so much less having to take make sure you don't get paint all over everything OSB is obviously different than drywall it's not the hardest thing in the world to paint but you do have to be patient and take your time and next thing is do not I repeat do not get that Zinser brand I believe Zinser is from Menards I can't remember if it's Menards or Walmart but I had it sitting around I was like you know what I'm going to use it up because I didn't care for it it's almost like water your best bet is to go ahead and just get a very good paint primer I like this end over here like it's close to being like finalized I mean and then as soon as you go over here I'll show you here in a bit you can totally tell that it's a real thin layer of primer next thing is is if you guys ever decide to go this route and I'm going to tell you guys this because I'm very transparent is okay so we ran four by eight sheets of OSB down the barn right like you guys saw us do I did not put any cross like braces in between I definitely should have there is a couple areas but I don't know if you could tell or not but in that middle area it bows in the middle I did not think it was gonna bow I honestly just did not think it was going to but it is bowing here's another view I would definitely recommend putting a cross brace down the middle of those four by eights besides that it's going fine but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get the rest of all this you just let me take that speaker down but it's a lot better than over here let me show you guys so I mean look at how that is like I mean I've got to go over all that again as opposed to if you look over here look how much better I mean I'm gonna have to sit I'm gonna go over it again that's that little area right there you can see where I'm about to get again I'm like rambling because I don't want to get back to this again so anyway well, I'm gonna get back to it basically working my way up over in this area here and the whole sun will at least be primed wondering man Jason you did a crappy job along the ceilings well that's not gonna matter because I'm putting trim up eventually around it anyway so just like when I do the walls I can't go all the way up and hit the ceiling but I'll have like a three and a half inch wiggle room because that's how wide the um, trim will be and so I can go up you know maybe two inches to the ceiling and stop and put my trim over it and you'll never notice it I think it's gonna look really really good like I'm just kind of I'm nervous about the light gray. I'm hoping it's, it's, it's bright enough. So if you guys are liking the video so far, uh, this is a lot, of, a lot of what I do on this channel. Um, like and subscribe if you guys want to see more content like this. But yeah, my back's killing me. Call it a night for the night, guys. It'll be evenings of hopefully laying around and resting and recouping for me. So see you soon.